Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a video that was highly requested when I did uh, my last video, Dear African Men. So this is Dear African Women. Um, some things that African women do that men or like even women find annoying. So let's get right into the video. Point number one. Dear African women, not every Yoruba guy is a demon, as well as not all men as scum. I know when people say every or say all, they're generalizing, they're talking about like the general population or the majority, but I feel like some girls actually think and believe deep within them in the core that all men are scum. I personally believe that there's exceptions to every rule. I've actually met some good guys, I know some good guys, so there's no way in hell that all men are scum. So yeah, uh, usually people are speaking from their pain or their hurt, maybe um, they've had friends who've been hurt or they've been hurt or maybe their mom or their their grandmom's been hurt by a man so it's like generational hurt and generational pain I understand that but just um, stop being bitter sis like there's good people and even good people mess up even good people do bad things but yeah the point is not all men has come secondly the chase African girls love the chase. I remember growing up and I'll be talking to like um, my aunts or my cousins or like the women in my life and they'll be like, huh, my husband chased me or asked me out for two years, for five years. And even me, I, I'm not that patient. I cannot be patient and wait for somebody for five years. For what? For what? <laughs> How do you expect someone to chase you for months and months and years? Like, if you don't like them, just tell them straight up, I don't like you, I don't want to, I don't see a future with you, I don't want to date you, I don't want anything to do with you. Don't waste the person's time, let them go. If you do like them, stop wasting each other's time, make the most out of the time that you have and spend this time together, getting to know each other and maybe, who knows, like actually get in a relationship. So the idea that these people have is that um, if they give in to a guy or tell a guy how they actually feel or that they actually love, they actually like him real quick um, people think that they're cheap or well, these guys would think that they're cheap but it's not being cheap it's just you met this person now you guys clicked from the get-go and it's a good thing it's a beautiful thing you don't have to pretend or act like you're not into them when you're actually into them and if you're not into them just free these people now let them go let them move on okay thirdly don't leap to conclusions. Oh my god, African girls can leap to conclusions for Africa. Hi! To be honest, I've done this myself. I've done this one as well. So, you're texting, you text your boyfriend, you text your boyfriend all night and he's not replying. The first thing that crosses your mind is he's out somewhere cheating or he's doing something bad. And that's the first thing that comes to your mind. It's never a positive thing or you never try to think. Maybe he's badly died. Maybe he was in a car accident. Maybe he even died. How would you feel if your boyfriend died and you were sitting there thinking that he was out cheating on you? You'd feel terrible. So give people the benefit of the doubt. When you finally get through to this person, just communicate. And it's true, it's possible that he was actually out there cheating. But you don't have any proof, you don't have any facts. So don't leap to conclusions. And if this person lies to you and you know you, you, you want to trust them and you believe them that they, they were not cheating, maybe they tell they give you a flimsy excuse and you choose to believe them. Even if they lie to you, there's nothing hidden under the sun. The truth is going to come out someday, somehow. Save yourself the stress, save yourself the heartache and choose to believe the positive things until proven otherwise. Number four, girls don't expect guys to just know what they're thinking. They expect this guy to know that if they just blink, it means I'm craving ice cream and you know you should get me ice cream they should just be able to read your mind without you telling them what is on your mind it's not possible now if you're mad at someone just tell them I think like what he said to me uh, I, I, I don't like it when you do this just be upfront and tell them what it is give them a chance to explain themselves or to apologize or to do better so don't expect them to know sometimes they really don't know what is going on and they would act like they don't know and you just be boiling because in your mind it's supposed to shoot, no, but they don't. And it's to your own detriment because you're the one that is worked up and this person is fine. And then there's times when they do know, the guys have actually told me like sometimes they know but they want the girl to tell them what is happening, to open their mouths and talk so that they can feel like this person is comfortable enough to, to talk to them, to open up to them, to confide in them. 
Number five, I don't know what it's like back home right now, but this is uh, mainly for African girls that are in the Western world. Um, you know how back home, if a guy likes you, he's actually asking you out like with the intention of being your boyfriend. He's asking you to be his girlfriend straight up. Um, it's not always like it's not always the case here. So here, um, people would go out on dates to figure out if they like each other first before like getting in a relationship. But African girls with the mentality that they already have from back home, they'll come and they expect that if they've gone out on 10 dates with this guy, the guy should just know that they're in a relationship, they think they're exclusive without verbalizing it. Save yourself the stress, right? Just talk about it. Ask this person, so are we exclusive now? Are we a thing now? Do I call you my boyfriend? Do I tell people, do I tell people you're my boyfriend now or? What? Because this guy could be there thinking you're keeping your options open, you're going out on dates with other guys as well, and he's talking to other people, and then you get your feelings hurt when maybe you find out that he's talking to other people when you guys didn't agree that you were in a relationship or that you were a thing. So yeah, if you have any doubts, if you're thinking anything, speak up. Number six, most modern African girls expect the best of both worlds. They want to be equals in a relationship, right? They want like gender equality. When it comes to like household things, oh, if I cook, he should cook too. If, 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 if I clean, he should clean. Um, that kind of thing, right? But then they also expect the guy to also act like a typical African man. Like you cannot eat your cake and have it. Pick one. If you want that, you, when you go out on dates with this guy, the guy pays for everything, every single date that guys go on. He's paying, he's the one that's always buying you gifts, he's the one that's doing like everything for you. So if he's doing hobby duties, he would expect wifey duties. So if he's doing all these things for you, he'll expect you to cook for him, come to his place and clean, uh, sleep with him, would expect you to do all these things for him. So if you want gender equality, you also have to make a move. When you go out on some dates, pay for the food sometimes, get him gifts sometimes, so that it shouldn't be like it, it, everything is on him. Because if he's doing everything, he would expect you to also be like a typical African wife to him. You can ha you can have the best of both worlds. Number seven, this is for uh, the girls who date African girls who are dating with the intention of getting married to whoever they're dating. Date the kind of guy that you want to marry. The qualities that you, 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 you have in your mind for a husband should be the same qualities that you should be looking for in a boyfriend. So don't meet a guy and then because he's cute, he's all cute and handsome and hot, has a nice body, he's tall, everything, chocolate or light skin, whatever your preferences are, and you see him, he looks good, so you like the physical, but he doesn't have like the internal qualities, he's char character-wise, his aunt is zero, so he doesn't have those qualities. Don't meet, don't start dating this guy, hoping that you're going to mold him into the into husband material, into the kind of husband that you want to have. Chances are it's not going to happen. He's not going to change for you, and then you'll be there three years uh, down the road, five years down the road. You start now blaming men. All men are the same. Men are like this. He's wasted your time, and then because you've been in the relationship for three to five years, you start feeling like you've given too much to just let go at this point or to start afresh. So basically date the kind of guy that you intend to marry if you're dating for marriage because chances are nobody's going to change for anybody. And then number eight, uh, the African girls with, whose ultimate goal in this world is marriage. Not that there's any problem with marriage, right? But if your ultimate goal is marriage and you have zero ambition in this life, zero career goals, you have no plans for your future, you're just waiting for a rich man to come and marry you and then you go and sit in his house and so that he will spoil you and spend on you. What are you doing sis? What are you doing? What are you doing? What if things go wrong? What if things go south? What, 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 what happens to you? What do you have to call your own? Where do you stand? You go back to your parents house? How? Like... I guess my point is, try to have your own before getting married. Or even if you don't want to have your own before getting married, both of you should chase your dreams together. Don't just, don't just get married and end there. Marriage should not be your last bus stop. It should not be your end point in this life. You can still get married and still chase your dreams and, and achieve your, your, your goals in this life. Your other goals, your career goals. Make a name for yourself. Do something with your life that is not necessarily tied to your husband. If you get what I mean, 
I'm not trying to tell anybody how to live their life, but it's just what I think. Number nine, the girls that are in a relationship, right, and things happen, um, things go wrong with their boyfriends, and then they go to tell their friends without discussing it with their boyfriends first. You go and tell your friends, this is how he treats me, this is what he does, this is it. Like you complain to your friend all the time. And then when your friend now tries to help you and, and to be logical and tell you how they see it, you go and tell your boyfriend, oh, my friend said this, and now your friend looks like the bad person. Um, the bad person, like she doesn't want what is best for you, what is best for your relationship. You could have just saved everybody the trouble if you would, if you were going to go and talk to him anyways. Like you could have just spoken to him from the start. So just talk things out with your boyfriend and try to sort things out. If it's not working, then seek help. It all boils down to communication. Communicate with your partner. That's everything. Like those are all the points. Um, if you agree with some of these points, let me know in the comment section down below. If you do not agree, let me know as well. If you have any more points to add, please share with everybody and um don't shoot the messenger i'm just a messenger <laughs> don't shoot me i do agree with some of these points because i've been that person i've been that girl actually i do agree with most of them so yeah but don't shoot the messenger thank you so much for watching if you watched this video to the end um if this is your first time on my channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe if it's not your first time and you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video ciao